In this video, we will talk about the 26th United Nations Conference on Climate Change, the previous conferences that are important to understand the discussions currently performed, and the environmental risks for the population. The 26th United Nations Conference on Climate Change, COP26, takes place in Glasgow, Scotland, from November 1 to 12, 2021. The conference aims to discuss the implementation of the Paris Agreement, in which commitments to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases were made. But when did these conferences begin? The COP, Conference of the Parties, is an international treaty resulting from the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, known as the Earth Summit, held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992. The first COP, COP1, was in 1995. It took place in Berlin and was attended by representatives from 117 countries. In this conference, the Berlin Mandate was established and there was a consensus among the countries to take more energetic actions regarding the mitigation of the greenhouse effect. At this conference, an ad hoc group on the Berlin Mandate was created. This group drafted a protocol that was later sent to COP3 and resulted in the adoption of the Kyoto Protocol. During this conference, the principle of common but differentiated responsibility among countries was applied. So the different countries would have different responsibilities and capabilities to deal with climate change. The second conference, COP2, was held in Geneva, Switzerland, in June 1996. At the second COP, it was defined that developing countries could request financial and technological assistance from the Global Environment Facility, GEF2. COP3 took place in Japan, in 1997. In this conference, the Kyoto Protocol was created. Kyoto Protocol's main objective was to set targets, to contain greenhouse gas emissions. Around 141 representatives from different countries participated in the elaboration of the Kyoto Protocol. On March 15, 1999, the protocol was ratified by 55 countries, which together were responsible for about 55% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. On February 16, 2004, ratification of the agreement by Russia occurred. The Kyoto Protocol proposed targets and obligations to countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to the atmosphere. Greenhouse gas emissions should be reduced for industrialized countries by 5.2%. For Japan, the reduction would be 7% and, for the European Union, it would be 8%. The reduction would be based on emission levels recorded in 1990. During COP21, 21st United Nations Conference on Climate Change, in December 2015, the Paris Agreement was signed. The signatories of the Paris Agreement agreed to increase the production of renewable energy, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, help poor countries with financial aid to deal with the impact of climate change. Every five years there would be a review of progress made. But what is expected of COP26? The poorest countries are already feeling the impact of climate change. Effects of sea level rise are affecting different places and drought already affects agriculture. According to the UN, climate change could drive another 100 million people into poverty by 2030. Several developing countries, more than a hundred, have already presented demands such as compensation for the climate change effects, financial aid for greener economies, and better adaptation to climate change. Climate finance is one of the issues to be discussed at the conference. The goal is an investment of $100 billion a year to help poorer countries for actions aimed at the energy transition, adaptation to global warming, and reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. But shifting to a green economy could deliver a direct return of $26 trillion by 2030 compared to normal business. But how would be this investment? 
Until now, among the benefited projects, the mitigation process received 66% of the resources while adaptation projects received 34%. 41 of the 177 projects financed by the fund are in Latin America and the Caribbean. An example of an adaptation project was carried out in Colombia, to manage and provide access to drinking water for local populations. As a mitigation project, we can mention the financing of the construction of a solar energy plant in the Atacama Desert, in Chile. Another issue is the definition of the best way to deal with the carbon market. Pollutants could pay for their emissions and green ventures could receive carbon credits. Countries would be able to buy carbon credits from other nations. Some priorities are the commitment of countries to zero carbon emissions until 2050, the protection of ecosystems, planting trees to protect against events, such as sandstorms and floods, and the elimination of the use of coal. The burning of fossil fuels is one of the factors with the greatest impact on the emission of greenhouse gases. This type of energy source can cause an increase of 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius per year, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC. Paris Agreement and Kyoto Protocol established rules to reduce emissions. Initially, an average 5% reduction in emissions, compared to 1990 levels, between 2008 and 2012, was proposed. In the second phase, it was proposed a reduction of emissions by at least 18%, compared to 1990 levels, in the period from 2013 to 2020. According to World Resources Institute, despite the established goals, Annual emissions of greenhouse gases have grown 50% since 1990 worldwide. Energy consumption is responsible for 76% of global emissions. Agriculture is responsible for 12%. Industrial processes contributes with 5.9%, waste and wastewater with 3.3%, and land use and deforestation with 2.8%. It is of great importance to value nature, forests, ecosystems, and responsible agricultural areas, which can absorb carbon and contribute to reducing climate impacts. These are the main topics of discussion at the 26th United Nations Conference on Climate Change. What is the position in your country? Do you have investments in clean technology? Do you use solar or wind energy? If you like the video, leave your like, and don't forget to subscribe, so we can make more videos like this for you.